T-minus 35 seconds. In the next few seconds, thousands of gallons of water will be dumped on the platform to help absorb the shock of the 7 million pounds of thrust produced by the shuttle. Minus 15 seconds. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. And when it is roll. Just a few seconds away from resuming our countdown. And the ground launch sequencer has been initiated. All countdown functions now automatically controlled by the GLS computer located in the firing room integration console. Our window will expire. About five minutes after our preferred launch time. T minus eight minutes, 17 seconds and counting. All systems are go, except for. Uh, except for the uh, range safety officer. We stand by as they continue to work through their problem. Pilot Eric Bowe flips switches in the uh, cockpit to connect the three fuel cells directly to the essential power buses. T minus seven minutes, 30 seconds and counting. T minus is ready for orbiter exit arm retest. And Discovery OTC from the processing team of Discovery to the crew of Discovery. Enjoy the ride. Thank you very much. Thank you for all the work you did getting this uh, ready to go and uh, appreciate all, all your work. And for those watching, you may witness the majesty and the power of Discovery as you lift off one final time. Orbiter access arm retracting. Orbiter test conductor John Craxon talking with Space Shuttle Commander Steve Lindsay. T minus six minutes, 50 seconds. Planning to hold at T minus five minutes unless the range is clear. T minus six minutes, four seconds and counting. Orbiter test conductor John Craxon gave pilot Eric Bowe the go to perform the auxiliary power unit pre start procedure. The APUs provide pressure to the shuttle's three hydraulic systems that move the main engine nozzles and aero surfaces. T minus five minutes, 40 seconds and counting. T minus five minutes, 30 seconds and counting. T minus five minutes, four seconds and counting. Traffic clock is holding at T 
Countdown clock, clock is holding here. Two minutes and 48 seconds of hold time remain in today's launch window of Space Shuttle Discovery. Today's launch window expires in two minutes, 28 seconds. And then can you see, Jim, if we did indicate, get an indication of the green safety, uh, the further hold pitch. That's a perfect. All systems are go with the exception of the Eastern Range. And they continue to troubleshoot a problem with their Central Command system display. Two minutes remaining in the hold today. Two minutes remaining in our launch window. Okay, NASA test director Steve Payne checking with the Eastern Range on their status to pick up the count. We have one minute, 30 seconds remaining in our window today. seconds remaining in our launch window. Range is go. Minus five minutes and counting. OTC before an APU start. CLP in work. CDR OTC reconfigure heaters. Copy in order. T minus four minutes, 41 seconds and counting. All systems are go and weather is green. Good auxiliary power units. You minus four minutes and counting. The final helium purge of the three main engines is underway in preparation for main engine start. Final test of the flight control surfaces is underway. This is a pre-programmed pattern of movements designed to verify the readiness of the flight control surfaces, the Elevon, speed brakes, and rudder. Minus 30 minutes and 30 seconds and counting. Final aero surface checks are complete. Discovery's three main engines will be gimbaled through a pre-programmed series of maneuvers as a final test before launch. T minus three minutes and counting. 
final pressurization of the external tank's liquid oxygen tank is underway. And we're completing the purge of the shuttle main engines. TLC, OTC, clear cost, no one's memory, verify no unexpected errors. TLC in work. The gaseous oxygen vent hood, or beanie cap, is slowly being retracted away from the top of the external tank. Close the monster visors and initiate O2 flow. Copy and work. Orbiter test conductor John Craxton requesting pilot Eric Rowe clear the caution and warning memory system. T minus two minutes and counting. Liquid hydrogen replenish on the external tank is being terminated as planned. T minus one minute, 30 seconds, and counting. All systems are go. About 90 seconds away from the launch of Space Shuttle Discovery on her final mission. T minus one minute, 10 seconds, and counting. The liquid hydrogen tank inside the external tank is now at the proper flight pressure. T minus one minute, and counting. The ground launch sequencer will verify that the three main engines are ready to start. The booster joint heaters are being deactivated at this time. T minus 48 seconds and we're transferring to orbiter internal power. Discovery is now running on its uh, three onboard fuel cells. Coming up, we're on a go for auto sequence start at T minus 31 seconds. And we have a go for auto sequence start. Discovery's onboard computers have primary control of all the vehicle's critical functions. 20 seconds. The sound suppression water system has been activated, protecting Discovery and the launch pad from acoustical energy waves. Acknowledging the call from Capcom Charlie Hoba as Discovery's three main engine throttle back up. Lindsay is joined on the flight deck by pilot Eric Bowen, mission specialist Al True, and Nicole Stott. Mission specialist Mike Barrett and Steve Bowen. Discovery's three main engines are burning fuel at a rate that would drain an average swimming pool in about 25 seconds. The engines combined with the solid rocket boosters produce more than 7 million pounds of thrust. One minute, 50 seconds into the flight, we're standing by for separation of the twin solid rocket boosters. Discovery now traveling 2,695 miles an hour. Its altitude, 24 miles. Downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, 29 miles. <laughs> 